Welcome back to MSU tonight. I'm joined in the studio tonight by Jacob Mitchell. Mm -hmm. How you doing, Jacob? Hi there. Thank you for coming out, yep. talking to us about esports. Yep, I'm very excited Appreciate to be it. here and Appreciate spread the news about what's going on. Awesome. So, what can you tell us about esports? What can one expect when they join the club? Sure. Um, well, currently, right now, the club supports about seven competitive teams. So, right now, we have League of Legends, uh, one team for that, and then two Overwatch teams, two Rocket League teams, and two CSGO teams. Mm -hmm. Um, so all of those players, um, they get together around two to three times uh, a week and they practice just like they'd be in a varsity program and they compete against a lot of uh, other schools who also are in a similar situation where they have students getting together. Um, and then if you're not really interested in the competitive aspect, you can get in just casual like we have yeah. Minecraft or um, just if you want to play those games but not on the competitive team, people get together all the time and play. So it's a really great opportunity for you to meet new other students. Um, and then for also you to just uh, enjoy the games you love. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. What would you say the uh, most popular game in esports club mm -hmm. in the, in the esports club is right sure. now? Sure. Um, right now it's Overwatch that Overwatch. has the most uh, dedicated fan base, you could say. Um, everyone's pretty active in that, but we're also really active in, uh, like I said, the Minecraft community um, and a lot of other smaller things. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so I was I was understand that it's a um, competitive mainly, but uh, what would the uh, casual environment look like for a gamer mm -hmm. who wants to be in the eSports club? Sure, yeah. Uh, like I said, if you don't want to be on a competitive team, that's A-OK. -okay. It is a lot of time commitment. Um, but if you just wanted to be in the casual side, you just join the Discord server that we have, um, and then you basically just say, hey, I want to play. Um, anyone play tonight? And usually you get a couple replies. Okay. Um, or you can just like, chat about something so maybe some new, new uh, game news comes out You're like I can't believe they did this yeah. um, then then you can talk about it with other people like that as well so it's just a great great experience and community how are you guys getting new students involved yeah um, well with the pandemic and everything obviously that throws a wrench into things mm -hmm. but this semester we put up flyers in every building we could think of yeah. um, and we got a lot of uh, new student interest I think that was partly due to just word of mouth. I think uh, the club is getting more popular with a more amount of students every year, so more and more find out about us. Um, but like I said, those flyers also probably helped around campus. Mm -hmm. So, what is your where does your um, competitive teams where do they rank? Do they have a national level or sure? Uh, yeah, so a couple of them don't play nationally because um, the collegiate esports scene is, is kind of uh, fractured at the moment. Yeah. There's not one organization that does everything. Um, but we all have placed pretty high up in the tournaments we've played in. I believe our League of Legends team placed sixth in the group that they were in last semester. Um, and then the Overwatch team has been top 20 in the TESPA National Overwatch Tournament. I believe Hearthstone was also top 20. Um, and then CSGO just started up this semester, so we don't know uh, ranks on that. On That's them impressive. Yet. So mm -hmm. That's impressive. What are you yeah. most excited for in the next semester, upcoming semester? Yeah, I mean, we're just excited to keep refining our skills on the competitive teams. Um, I think we've got some great leaders coming up. Uh, we've got some new ones that are really promising. Mm -hmm. So I think when I have to leave eventually, I'm, I'm going to be satisfied that the club is going to be in good hands, and I think they're going to handle it well, and I think yeah. the students are going to grow in their skills. So. If you were to be given funding to develop the sports club, mm -hmm. eSports club, what would, you, what would sure. you put this money towards? Sure. Um, yeah, we're actually working on proposals right now um, to send to a lot of people on campus. But our main goal is to first make a varsity program mm -hmm. um, because that is where the recruitment numbers are and that's where the recruitment money is. Um, and that's what makes it more appealing to the university. So first we would make a varsity program that offers scholarships for students to, to play on competitive teams. So you earn a scholarship if you're on the Overwatch team, League of Legends team, or anything like that. Um, but we would also put the money towards getting more lab space because yeah. currently we only have one lab in the IT building, which is amazing um, that we have that already, but we've quickly outgrown it in the year span that we've had it. So we have around 40 students who, you, who are on a competitive team to some extent mm -hmm. right now, and we have about 12 machines that we can disperse among them. So you can imagine how hard that is to, to yeah, evenly disperse. Yeah, there's rotations. Mm -hmm. you, rotations. Have to, you have to reserve the lab and pray no one else goes in there on accident. It causes a lot of craziness. But uh, we're still thankful for it, but we still need a lot, a lot of room to yeah. grow. So that's where that money would go towards. I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. what, what got you into esports? 
Well, I mean, I'm just an Overwatch junkie, um, I have to admit, um, and I just saw there was a large community um, in esports with that, so it was fun to just chat with people about, I can't believe they buffed this character, I can't believe they nerfed yeah. him or whatever else. Um, but then as that got on, I got into other games like Minecraft especially, which I think we've all played mm -hmm. um, when we were like a 12 years Minecraft, old. Yeah, just a least. little bit. Mm -hmm. So I've really gotten back into that. Um, it's been really fun. Um, so yeah, just the, the, just the community at first, but then now throughout, throughout my leadership experience, yeah. it's been a really great opportunity to kind of lead the club in a positive way and try to make it go towards that varsity program like That's I've been awesome. talking about. That's awesome. Where do you see the eSports club in five years from now? Yeah, in five years, I mean, I hope it would be um, a varsity program with a dedicated casual community as well. Um, so we would have a lot of really, really great players that we've offered scholarships to come in here every yeah. year to play on Murray State's behalf. Um, but then we would also have a lot of dedicated spaces for the casual community so that people can come in, just play a couple games of League of Legends with their friends or, or whatever else, like Rocket League, stuff like mm -hmm. that, and just be a really a more community space rather than just a varsity. Yeah. Um, that would be the overall arching goal, would be sort of a, a gaming culture, if you will. Goal. So yeah, that would be I amazing. Mm -hmm. I'd appreciate that. <laughs> but um, thank you so much for uh, awesome. answering those questions yeah. and letting us know about eSports Club. Yep, right. I might thank stop by myself <laughs> one yeah. of these weeks. We'll be happy to have you. Thanks for having me. Thank you. We will be right back to play some Mario Kart. Jacob oh, yeah. is going to play. Definitely. We'll both pick a map, so uh, this will be an exciting game. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. 